want to introduce you now to Debbie. Debbie, if you come off mute and say hi. And I'll be able to Hello. You well. um, brilliant. Debbie is one of um, the members at um, Roseland's Community Church. Um, and um, Debbie is uh, a star. She's done um, a load of training in SWBA Learning Community over the last few years. But Prepare for the Sustain course, which is a 12-module course. Each module's got two teaching days and a couple of assignments if you're doing it like Debbie has been doing it, and she's completed that pretty much at the moment. And also the Crucible course, which is for those that are interested in pioneering and church planting, both of which have been done um, online over the last year, and, and both of which will be available um, uh, in the future um, for uh, hybrid learning. So in, in the gathered place, which is always the best way to learn in a community of people face to face, but for those that can't make it, also available to tune in on Zoom. Debbie, I'm going to spotlight you, if that's all right with you, if you're happy mm -hmm. for that, so that people can see you, um, and then just ask a couple of questions. Is that okay? And, and yeah, no, that's great. Debbie, I, I know that, that you've put in a lot of work to PFS and Crucible over the last year. What have, have been, if you like, the best things about doing those courses um, in SWBA, and maybe what have been the challenges that you've faced in doing them? Uh, I think the best things about the course is that the courses are that the four year course has given me a really good grounding of nuts and bolts of about um, Bible, reading the Bible, accessing information, integrating information. And from my point of view, I started as a very new Christian in many ways because I was actually baptized four years ago this week. And so actually it's been an amazing journey to actually ground my understanding and, and um, deepen my understanding, not only of, of um, who Jesus is and, and, um, and more about work of the Holy Spirit and, and, and God's plans, but actually also about the Baptist church, the Baptist community, and the more I've learned, the more I've, I've been really excited by it um, that's been really important to me um, over those that time um, it's also allowed me to see what I, my strengths are and what my weaknesses are <laughs> um, the other thing that though was um, because of my previous experience the crucible course has been really really beautiful because what that's done is extended that information that pfs has given me to look at application and that has been so helpful um, and also it's broadened my view of the possibilities of church in in 21st century and that has been very very interesting and i've met a very wide range of people about them through that particularly because um, one of the benefits of COVID was, although I'd loved meeting with people actually on the Saturdays for the Crucible course, they actually amalgamated all, all of the courses that were running across the country and then opened it up to the world. And so now we're studying with people from all over the world, from many different backgrounds um, and also in many different expressions of church. And that has really broadened my viewpoint. That's wonderful. Thank you, Debbie. Um, in terms of being part of the, the learning community that you've been a part of then over um, these last four years, um, how has that helped you in your own faith? How has it helped you grow closer to Jesus? Well, I think actually what it's done is it's embedded Jesus more into my daily life, because the more I walk through the world and in the world um, I actually see God working because of my you know what I've been learning and so actually you then see God working in so many different ways and, and Jesus um, in so many different people but also helping me to try and think about more of developing myself so I'm more more like Jesus so that I can be his hands and his feet and his mind and his, his you know, um, it's been really important. But the other thing I think that's been really important is to help me to understand the difference between church and secular world and how to apply my previous experience in the secular world into a situation where Jesus is right in the middle and, and actually to the point where I want to put prayer and worship and uh, into my daily relationships with people um, in, in my work as well as 
you know, anywhere where my front front line is really. That's wonderful. Because, yeah. That's Carry on, David. Well, it's just um, it's just transformed my life really, and and I think that that's quite important. Um, it's also taught me a lot more about not doing things in my own strength, noticing when I sort of slip, um, and also learning to watch God working on the outskirts of things, rather than think you know what God's going to do. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, so obviously, as good Baptists, we believe that all of us are ministers of the gospel. We're all called to <laughs> the Church of Christ. And our hope is, is that for the learning community, it just helps for, uh, for folks that are part of that community to be able to explore what God might be calling them to do, how God might be calling them to serve him and his mission and his kingdom in the future. Uh, how's that been for you? How's that worked out? And, and, and do you have some plans for this, this next season now as you, as you come to an end, at least of this part of your training? Yes. Um, well, um, I sort of knew that God had a plan for me in some form when I moved to Devon, but I had no idea what it is. By the end of the third year of the course, really, um, uh, I sort of knew that I really wanted to work in church settings, um, but actually in pioneer ministry, having done the crucible as well. And, and so um, after talk with you and others and, and quite a lot of prayer and discernment, I, I went forward for MINREC. And the, the question I went in with was, what did God need me to do? What did, would God like me to do? And what would he prefer me not to do? And the MINREC process was amazing. And, and what we came out with at the end was that rather than going and doing three years theology, very in-depth study, further study, um, the, the PFS course and, and the, the Crucible course and my previous experience was enough to, to start me off with doing some pioneer ministry directly. So I am very blessed. I've, been offered two days work um, by Winner Street Paint and Baptist Church from September to work in the area of mental health and well-being as in pioneer ministry um, and also um, I'm also going to be assistant manager at Choice Words Bookshop where I, um, Christian Bookshop in Newton Abbott where I currently volunteer and uh, that's ministry in its own right as well. And then I'm also blessed that I've been given the chance to do the new pioneer course that's starting out of um, Exeter in September. It's a three year course linked to Bristol Baptist College, um, which you're hosting. And I, I can only say thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, De Debbie, of course, is a superstar, but I would say that in, the, in Kingdom Eyes, no more of a superstar than any other one of you on the screen tonight. Debbie's mm -hmm. just a follower of Jesus that has been exploring what God's been calling her to do. And so um, my, my strong encouragement to, to you all is to do that as well, recognising that learning is always lifelong for all of us. Um, whatever um, uh, academic qualification you've got, then please don't consider that you, you stop learning, you haven't. Um, but also in terms of for all of us, it is just so helpful to be part of a learning community, both for the, the, uh, the learning, but very much for the community. So yeah. that together you can explore mm -hmm. what's calling you to do next. Debbie, we're going to pray for you in a little minute. We've got some folks that are going to pray for you and the other guys as well. But thank you so much for sharing tonight. You're an absolute gem. That's wonderful. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you.